guys and welcome to pick a card with Thor. Thor asked me if we could do a card reading. He's actually been wanting to do one for a while. So yeah, of course. Um, I mix the cards until it feels right, until it feels like the god is happy. If you think it's too tween, you want to take this for entertainment purposes, that's fine. As always, take this or any other pick a card you get online with a green assault. Feel free to ask for, for signs, clarifications, whatever. First one is going to be Ascended Masters. I swear to the gods, I keep mixing this deck and keep getting the same two cards. So we actually did this, and then I'm like, we're mixing these cards again because something is going goofy. Crystal Angels and Rebel deck. So sometimes um, Thor can be playful. I think he was being playful. Let's see if we could do like a rough, rough thing. We're going to do two cards, a top and a bottom, unless he says more or less. I got just tops and bottoms. Okay, so we are starting off with your Ascended Masters. Top card is going to be, these cards are thick. They feel like, they feel like two. It feels like two are stuck together. Let it go from Quan Yin. So let it go. Let it go. That thing you're holding on to, let it go. Just let it go. Okay. Yeah, let it go. Um, you know what it is. Let it go. Yeah, let it go. That's your answer. Um, your bottom deck is going to be um, clear your sh and shield your energy. So do not know that, gentlemen. I'm not going to make the attempt, but clear and shield your energy. Just clear all your energy. Maybe you're hung up on someone and maybe your energy is still entangled with theirs. Like if you can't get them out of your head and you're like, I don't know why I can't stop thinking of them. Clear and shield your energy. And then if you keep thinking of them, then go to the gods and be like, I can't get this person out of my head. I got, yep. Loki's on standby. Crystal Angels is your second one. Top card is going to be Citrine, oh my gosh, one of my favorite stones. Unnecessary worries. Um, release the burden of worries by giving them to the gods for healing and solution. So yeah, if you want to put any of these in Paganese or Thoris or anything, go ahead. Loki's, um, he's hovering in the background. So give any of your problems to the gods. I mean, that is what the gods are in our life for. I know you meet so many people that, like, especially in paganism, they're like, I don't ask the gods for anything. Then why are you a pagan? Because the idea is they help us, we help them. We have each other's backs. That's the idea. It's give and take. It's live like a family. Do you live like your family and your family does absolutely nothing for you? That's sad. Um, like somebody cooks, somebody cleans, somebody takes out the garbage. You're all doing it together, right? You work as a family. That's the idea. I got, yeah, back here. And the bottom is going to be calcite. Oh, that's pretty. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during the busy times and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Are you making busy work so that you don't think about something? Is there like maybe something in your future or something about you or whatever is going on that you like? I'm just going to throw myself into my work. Speaking from experience, it works for a while. And then it doesn't work anymore. And then you're like, you're burnt out and you're overworked and the problem's still there. Sometimes consult if you need to. Sometimes just, you know, making ourselves overly busy is not, not the solution, my, my dears. So last deck is going to be Rebel deck. I, did I announce these decks? I don't know. Um, I will warn you, this deck usually and often curses. Be floofing grateful. I know you can read, most of you. Um, be floofing grateful. Be grateful for what you have. I know. I know the world is crazy. I know a lot of us are just barely keeping our little foxy noses above water. Be grateful. I know it's hard to be grateful when you live in a world where, especially if you spend a lot of time on YouTube, you see people like getting millions of dollars and everything else. And you're like, well, why is that happening? Gods don't love me. And, you know, if they love me, that would be my life. Be grateful. The more we're grateful for, I found in experience, the more we're grateful for, for one, we're grateful and it helps us relax. And for two, the more grateful you are, the more stuff comes your way. So be grateful for what you have. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. It is crazy time for all of us. Uh, it's going to be okay. I swear, this will pass. It may pass like a kidney stone, but this will pass. Okay, the bottom card is get the floof out of your head. So maybe you're spending too much time in your head. If you're living in the past, 
or you're living in the future, try to live in the present. You don't have to go crazy, but if you find yourself dwelling in the past and thinking, if only I should have, why can't it be like then? Or you find yourself looking into the future and it's all dark and scary, don't, don't. Just start to distracting yourself. You don't have to beat up on yourself. You don't have to say negative self-talk. Just go, eh. Think of something you'd like to think of. Just start trying to do that. Think of something you'd like to think of. And, you know, our worrying, our fretting does not change the future. I can assure you of that. I have chronic depression. I have social anxiety. I have phobias about the future like you would not believe. It has never changed anything. I've never had an angel come down with a scroll or a Valkyrie come down with a um, picture of meat and say, finally, you worried enough. You have changed the future of mankind. It doesn't work, guys. I swear. So I think what Thor is telling us to do is clear our energy to just let everything go that we have to and you know, just be chill and lay back like Thor. So I know that feels more serious, but his, his, he feels more serious because when he stepped forward, I was really surprised. He feels loving, but he feels like, you know, you're going to get this message. So <laughs> he is a teddy bear. He is. So if you guys like this, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.